I think the SID guy's got it all wrong. He wouldn't have died this way. Cheating husband blown away by his wife, I'm thinking something more like this. Are you crazy? You can't be in there. This is a work of art. Yeah, how do you know? Well, everyone says so. Then it must be. Join me. Come on, you can do it. One step at a time. Okay, give me your hand. Now, if I thought for one second that that was a sexual overture. Oh, I swear to God, if you don't get out of here right now, I'm going to call security. Cool. Performance art. Oh! <gasps> What's Franco gonna say? He likes it. He really likes it. Please, you don't know this guy. He's a notorious perfectionist. I heard one time he destroyed an entire art gallery because they hung one of his paintings upside down. How could you tell? I don't know. I'm not an art critic. I'm a fashion expert. I had no idea who this pompous twit even was until my magazine editor made me swear I would throw my skirt over my head so we could get an exclusive with this guy. Love the visual. All right, come on. Seriously? What are you doing here? Are you like a fan of this guy or something? Uh, he and I go way back. Which is why I can guarantee that the artist known as Franco won't mind that he trashed his masterpiece. But I trashed it. Wow, I wasn't the one lounging around here like I owned the place. Yeah. Use your words, sounds like. Well, either a psychopath who doesn't give a damn what happens to him, or... Why does it have to be one or the other? No. Really? You can't be him, right? Pompous twit at your service. <sighs> Pretending to be someone famous just to get me into bed. What would get you into bed? You can't be Franco. He he lives in the south of France in some to die for chateau with topless women laying out on the beaches. Yeah, it's in Tuscany. Although I do have a pet terre on the south bank. What if I told you where I'd have to kill you? Prove it. Richards. Oh, damn, sorry. I tried this. Hunter Thompson, still dead. See, <laughs> well, who else but Franco would have passports under those names? I think you're full of crap. I've got just the thing. <laughs> no, no, no. No, no, no. Okay, I believe you. You're, you're Franco. I... Well, if you're not him, we're both definitely going to jail. You call that art? Think you can do better? Stand back, Picasso. Not you two. Observe genius and leap. Your move, Rembrandt. You want to know the difference between those two? One's art and one's yours? I can walk out there right now and get 50 grand easy for that peace sign. Really? When you put it like that, Salvador, I can see the appeal. Are you two quite finished? You just defaced a priceless art exhibit. And, and you, I mean, what kind of artist are you if you let just anyone stroll in here and mess with your work? My work? Don't you mean Franco's? I hear your boss calling, Maxie. Oh my God. Kate's here. Oh God, she's not gonna believe this. This is very expressive. Provocative. The outsider strikes back. Actually, score one for the marginalized. But it must be weird for you, you know? Having made your bones outside the loop and now being the go-to guy for establishment art. Your work looking down from the walls and the mantles of the people you used to despise. Actually, from the look of it, you still do. But their money's as green as anybody's, right? Must bend your head, though. Art's like a mirror. It's pretty clear what you see. Thank God you're here. I, I really need you. Oh, no, what happened? Nothing yet, but disaster is looming. 
Franco is here. And he's seriously good looking, but very weird. We weird how? Well, uh, come see for yourself. There's safety in numbers. Well, are you freaking out? No, no, everything's under control. Let's go. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll come too, okay? On second thought, he doesn't like to be crowded, so maybe I should just go by myself. Okay, whatever you want. But um, come by the installation room later by yourself so you can meet him as a Crimson employee. That way you won't feel gawked at. Sure. And I may need to be rescued. Okay. <laughs> well, Maxie, she takes everything about Crimson. So, so uh, what's with this crime scene motif? You a closet cop? Violent cells, right? That's what I'm all about, isn't it? Hey, I got no objection to cash flow, man. It's the frauds and the hypocrites that stick up my craw. I like it here in Port Charles. Folks are so friendly. Well, you take these folksy fools to the cleaners, Mr. Warhol. It'll be fun for all of us. And lucrative for you. But... It's pretty clear you don't know the first thing about real violence. You're dripping in fake blood, peddling your cheap thrills. You got that flush pocket crowd out there all lathered up, hot and bothered, titillated by images that if you came across them firsthand, you would wet your designer jeans. Headshot, close range, uh, 38 special. Mm -hmm. Blunt object. See, no blood splatter. Just a trickle. Uh, even a small handgun would have deposited brains all over the Oriental. Huh? Pygmy blow darn. From the window. Guy hit his head on the side of the bed when he fell. Really? I knew it. You listen to the master, boys. He shot a man in Reno once. Just to watch him die. I knew it the minute I laid eyes on you. Really? How? You got the luck. What luck? Don't toy with me. You're an artist. You can tell it instantly. We all can. You see things others can't. Oh, right. That look. <laughs> so, um, I was thinking, since you've dabbled in so many different types of media, have you ever designed a fashion shoot? <laughs> Piece of junk, if you ask me. I don't think Mr. Krenthos is interested in crime. Art. I'm an art. I like it. Why? It, it looks real. I mean, how would you know? I read a lot. Sure work. Since you like it, yes. I would imagine a lot of research goes into something like that. I read a lot. You gotta be careful, because, you know, you read too much, it clouds your thinking. Pretty soon you don't know the difference between what's real and what you imagine. Do you have any idea who that was? No idea, but he had a pretty good read on me. I take it he's not an art fan. Hardly. But, uh, I feel like you two probably have a lot in common. 